when you arrive at your classroom and your packages have been delivered. Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Brianna. I'm a third grade teacher, fourth year. <laughs> oh my gosh, let's try that again. Hey y'all, my name is Brianna and I am a fourth year, third grade teacher in North Carolina. Welcome to classroom setup day three. If you missed the other two, please click up here. I think it's this way. It's definitely this way. <laughs> I won't flip the screen this time. Click the playlist so you can see day one and two changes are happening today. So let's jump right into it because look. I got these delivered to my school. They're my new Sterilite drawers instead of the white ones. And I bought a lot of stuff. I'm changing the boards. I don't like the wood. Okay, so first of all, here is the drawer system. I just feel like the black looks so much sleeker. I'm so excited. They're obviously not staying here. I need to <laughs> figure out where I'm gonna put the back ones. But the top two drawers, they're taped shut right now, is where for math centers, I'm going to have a math, always have math the room sheets in here, which is just like a task card answer sheet, always in there because we do that many times throughout the week and then this one is going to be their independent practice for the day because i had it in a folder sitting on top last year and it would just always get knocked down so i thought this would be a great solution this drawer is for whiteboards the manipulative we're currently using in math and then their chromebooks go in the bottom i also went a little crazy at the teacher store <laughs> okay so i got the better than paper roll which I've really, really wanted. I'm getting rid of the wood and changing it for my colors because the donuts will just look much better. That's just way too busy. And my vision with that was more for my outside board anyway. So I am going to keep that on my outside board, but the inside is gonna be much cleaner. So I got this at the teacher store. Unfortunately, they didn't have the blue version. So I just got regular fadeless for this. What I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this one up on that board and then I'm going to put this one on the big backboard. I have my capital sprinkle letters now. And then I also ordered these on Amazon, just different borders. They're rolls of waviness. However, I couldn't figure out, I was talking about this last time, which one would match and I needed one in between. So I bought these today. So this one matches perfectly. However, this is gonna be on my outside board, so I might just use them since I already have them anyway. And then I also bought these fadeless half rolls so that I don't have to cut the paper and I'm going to put it across the top. Let's see, I might still have to cut it a little bit, but at least I won't be, oh yeah. I'll have to cut it a little bit, but it won't be as wasteful as the big paper. And it'll be much easier because I can just roll it out across and then trim it. This is what I've decided. I'm going to do yellow all the way across there, like make a bulletin board, and then same with up front. And then these letters are for my outside board. I'm really annoyed because why do you sell capital letters and lowercase letters separately? These were each $10. And typically I would make my own letters, but these are just the exact ones I wanted. So it's fine. It's fine. I'm gonna tell myself it's fine. So that's everything that I've purchased. I think I'm gonna go do my outside board first and then I will show you when I'm complete. So I've never worked with this kind of border before that's completely on a roll. So what I did is I measured the long side and I cut all of these the same and then I'm going to tape the pink to the back of the blue and then just staple them up to there together. All right, so we have this accomplished so far. At first, I hated it, um, but I think it's going to come together. It's just so random. 
but I have a vision. Anyway, I'm taking a break because I haven't eaten all day, but I brought my lunch in my lunchbox crock pot. I don't know if I've ever showed this on this channel, but if you guys don't have one of these, oh my gosh, it's amazing. You don't have to microwave your lunch because you can just plug it in and luckily we have recessed before lunch. So in the past, I have plugged it in before we went to recess and then it was heated up by lunch. So it doesn't cook your food, it just heats it. This is my ground turkey, black beans, corn, frat free cheddar and Ortega taco sauce. <laughs> I was originally going to put this banner out here because it doesn't match my borders inside the classroom and this one matches better. However, the colors, especially of the border, match the other one much better and this one's just way too huge for out here, but I love it. It's so cute. I can't wait to hang it up inside. So I'm gonna put up this one instead. Okay, much better. I think the reason I don't like this border so much is because it's so shiny, but I mean, I'll just have to deal with it. There is Bordet in that I could use, and I like that that's matte, but I don't know if I would be a fan. I was also debating changing the outside border to my lighter blue, but that didn't look better either. <laughs> so, it's coming together. It's fine, I like it. Definitely not perfect, but it's cute. And then I'm going to put the black letters. Don't it feel good to be in third grade? And then I'm going to put my students' names in donuts all over, I think, or sprinkles. We will see. That is what we have. I also trimmed the pink because originally I had it going all the way to the end and I realized I haven't done a border like this in a very long time, so I fixed that. The unfortunate thing about this banner is these are like glued to this string, so I ripped one off here. I can't even like, slide them. I ended up cutting it into two pieces and then I had to remove a few, which is okay. And then I put this one back on right here because there was like a little hole and I wanted it to be full. And Boston cream donuts are my favorite or were my favorite, so I like it. Now I'm gonna put up the letters. All right, so what I started doing last year is laying my letters out how I want it to be. I'll probably straighten them up just a little bit. And then I stick a piece of masking tape across it very gently and then just place it on the board. Then I could staple it. So this is my saying, don't it feel good to be in third grade? And I really, really, really like it. And you can see how it pops on the floor and the floor is a similar color to the board. So it's gonna look really cool. I didn't put quotation marks, but maybe I should. Those apostrophes like that, not actually correct grammar <laughs> or punctuation. Let me straighten this out here. All right, so then I tape it down and I've moved it up and down a ton. <laughs> I did get a tiny, tiny, tiny tear right here, but I'm just gonna kind of leave that and I can put some a child's name over that spot or something. With the better than paper paper, it's like the most amazing material, so that would never happen. But you know, you live and you learn. So I tried to like center it in the middle and then the lines of the wood really helped to actually get it in the middle of the board. But I'm going to put the students' names sprinkling all around. I think that's my decision. And there we have it. I left the bottom like crooked and silly because I thought that made it a little bit different and stand out a little bit more. I guess it looks fine. Now I need to go ahead with a black Sharpie and color in all the staple marks. And I'm also gonna put parentheses around donut or quotation marks. That really brought it together. I still, mm. These colors are just so bright compared to this. This is much duller. So if I had like this lighter pink and the blue that actually matched, I think it would look so much better. But it's fine. <laughs> Especially because there's really bright pink, hot pink sprinkles here. 
So maybe I'll just do more hot pink sprinkles around for the names. Problem so solved. Oh my goodness, this looks so much better. Wow, okay, so I found some Bordet that is the exact color that I needed. Like, it matches the donut perfectly. And for some reason, none of the other blues I had were. And it takes away that glossiness that looks so bad out here because of the lights, especially because there's a light right in front of this board. And it kind of looks like a cupcake wrapper, which is like bakery-ish, you know? So, oh my gosh. The other border, it's weird. It was getting fingerprints all over it, and it was just gross. And I feel like this just... Oh, now my job is complete. <laughs> yeah, I kind of threw this away. And I know those whiteboards are in the trash. They are moldy, so don't say we can donate them. We can't, they are ruined. I ripped this off and threw it away. It was just terrible. I may have wasted a little bit of money, but you know what? It was $7, we can pretend I bought a Starbucks drink or something. That would be gone anyway, right? Exactly. Okay, so here is the better than paper. Yes, it's pretty glossy, but that's because it's like a thick material. I can't even describe it. It's like a thick plastic almost, like, oh my gosh. But do you see how it's textured? And here's compared to the regular fadeless paper. Oh my goodness. I'm putting this on my backboard right now. Just the normal way I put, put up a bulletin board. All right, so I'm working at getting this on the wall. It's not stapled yet. I don't know what the issue is with my autofocus, guys. It was weird because this piece right here where it overlaps at the top, just right there, it's longer than the board. Like it's not cut straight but that's okay. So I had to like maneuver it back over so it would go straight across the top. But now we are good. I trimmed it really awfully on the end and I'm gonna staple it down and see if I can use my scissors to slice down just like I normally would do. Guys, I have never seen border fit so well. Like what? I didn't have to cut that last strip or anything. Now granted, this is not perfectly lined up and that's actually my fault. And all I did was tape this on here, actually. So I'm gonna go through and tape it a little bit more. On this backboard, I took your guys' advice, went with the solid color background, and then I didn't have to put a backing on the donuts. And I'm so happy with the way it turned out. Oh my goodness. There's pieces that are not like the straightest, but I'll fix it. Oh my gosh, everything is just coming together. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Some of the best decisions that I've ever made. Like, that looks so cute. All right, I don't know how the lighting is, but I'm honestly so thrilled with how everything is coming together. I just want you guys to know if something isn't the way you like it, like you don't have to settle. No, decorations aren't that important. However, you are going to be in your classroom most likely more than you are at home. So it should be a place that you feel good in, you're comfortable, it's aesthetically pleasing. Like I feel like that does have a big importance. So you saw that I took the time and the money <laughs> to put up that bulletin board and decide I don't even like it and use something that was already at the school. Always use the things at the school first if they're a possibility. I can't wait to put up the yellow boards all the way across. I just think it's going to make this classroom really, really come together and I'm definitely going to be using the Bordet Bur what? Bordet Bur Bordet border for that, at least on the outside, because I just love how it just solidifies everything. And like I said, it makes it look like a bakery, which totally, totally fits. Thank you guys so much for your suggestions. Like they help me so much. You all tell me that I give you so many ideas. Well, you guys give me so many ideas. Like 
I wouldn't have done this if it weren't for you. I would have had that ugly wood border or bulletin board and I would have hated it. Hated, hated, hated it. This makes me so much happier and it makes me want to come in my classroom. I'm looking at that wood board up front and I need to finish it, but that'll be for tomorrow. So luckily I have things that I will be returning because there's certain borders I purchased today that I won't be using. So no reason to hold on to them. Actually false. I might use them because I think I'm going to put up a bulletin board over here on the library to post things on. Like last year, I hung things up, but they were on the ugly walls and the walls are just gross. So we're gonna cover them up, but it's coming together. I know this has been piece by piece every day. My goal this week is to have my setup complete have my boards complete because then I need to start organizing. This was actually kind of difficult, not going to lie. Not the donut part, but just smoothing out that board. We had some bumps in the road, but it's all good now. And tomorrow I'll do the front square and figure out that border. I don't know if I'm going to put black around it. Black kind of like makes it not as cutesy you know so yeah some of you suggested even trimming the border and having half donuts so I may do that up front instead of having it hang off like this I don't know it depends I just had a really clean cut edge on this board because of this paper so it made it really I guess aesthetically pleasing because there's no rough edge where the board meets the actual edge of the bulletin board but with that being said, I'm going to head out. It's almost six o'clock. I've been here for quite some time. I worked on two bulletin boards and that's it. At least I have my drawers. I'm really, really, really excited. I'm serious. Someone needs to make me a shirt because that is my phrase. I say it all the time. I can make myself a shirt. I have a Cricut that I don't use. I'm excited. Give this video a thumbs up if you're excited for the progress, excited to see what's coming next. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Make sure you're following me on Instagram because I do update you there. And turn on those notifications because I can see who has them on. Oh, and thank you guys so much for 20,000 subscribers. Oh my goodness. I thanked you all on my Instagram, but I forgot to thank you here. Like, ah, we're finally at an even thousand. <laughs> Crazy. It's been a long time coming. I fell behind there a little bit when teacher YouTube, teacher tubing started becoming so popular and some other people got ahead of me, which is totally fine, especially when I didn't post as much, but I feel good. Thank you guys so much. You really, this, this is everything right now. Um, I feel like I should, we're getting really deep. Um, I know I've been mentioning my boyfriend, but I've kind of just been still calling him that. Um, when I was talking about personal issues going on, um, he broke up with me in May. So you guys have just been bringing me a lot of positivity and I really appreciate it. So. Thank you. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.